Hey there, this is Vanessa DeBerle, and today I want to show you how to create playlists on your channel. I'm going to show you how to create a playlist, first of all, with your video, because you may not know how to do that. And then I'll show you how I use them on my channel page and what the advantages are. So watch closely. I'm going to show you step by step. And if you have any questions, if I've missed something or if I wasn't clear, please put that in the comments and I will answer you back. Um, sometimes people think of other things that I didn't think of. So definitely do that. Um, let's get started. Basically, when you upload your video, I've got one here and I want to get it deleted because it's uploading. It's going to slow down my internet. So, but on that page, when you're uploading your video and you slide down right here on that first step, go over here to the right, it's going to ask you what playlist you want it on a playlist. Now you might say, well, I don't have any playlists. Well, if you open that drop down arrow up, yes, there's all my playlists. Actually, I have a lot of things hidden too that aren't open to the public. I use this a lot, but down here at the bottom, you can add a new playlist. So I could say new playlist and then say, I could say delete because it's not what I'm going to keep. And then I'm not going to keep it as public because there's nothing in there. I'm going to say private. Private means only you can see it. And unlisted is other people can see it if they have the link. So if you have a playlist of videos, um, I leave my, I put my courses on here and I leave them unlisted. So, or private, and then that way nobody can see them except people who have permission. So um, why would you do unlisted? I do some things, I'm an online teacher. Sometimes I create videos and I send them out to my students. I don't really want them open to the public. So I'll put them as unlisted and say, here's a video that you can watch and I send out the link. So today we're just gonna keep it private because um, we really don't wanna share it. And then I create. So that creates a playlist and then later, next time you come along you'll say oh i have some videos that i want under affiliate marketing that playlist is already created i'm going to go ahead and add this new video to it now there are ways that once you have videos in there um, let me delete this and show you on the right hand side or left hand side here i'm going to delete this because i don't want it to upload over here on the left once you get into your um channel uh, let's go down there on the left it says playlist that's where you can go in and manipulate the order of the playlist Let, let's just go ahead and do it since we're talking about playlists um let's go into on the left hand side here it says playlists i didn't do a lot with playlists when i first got started because for me and you may be in the same boat but for me there was a lot of um lot to learn with just making videos and trying to be consistent my first year i did a video just about for a year maybe 10 months i did a video every single day because i had followed somebody who said that's what they did and that's what helped them to finally get monetized and taken off and they wanted um, youtube to see them as being serious now some people don't suggest doing that i've heard people say make three a week um, you need to decide what you want to do i can't tell you that making one every day um, made me grow fast it just made me um, get better at what i was doing because i was starting from scratch and in the beginning, like I said, I didn't even look at playlists because I didn't understand them. What a playlist does, let's open this one up. It says um, websites that will make you, let me do that. I have 27 videos in there about email marketing. That's a topic that I talk about a lot. I'm an affiliate marketer. So I have an affiliate marketing email marketing system that I use that I'm an affiliate with that I promote. Now, one of the neat things about making a playlist, when you go to upload them, they automatically get added in, but you can, ask for one go over here to the three dots and i can say um move it to the top i can set it as the thumbnail so let's say you have one as a thumbnail and then six months down the road you make a different one that you think is better then you can say i want this one to be the thumbnail or you may have some good ones down here at the bottom right now mine are created by um the oldest ones are at the top the newest ones are at the bottom so let's say let's go down to the bottom and I'm going to move one to the top. So I have here how to get your first 150 email subscribers. This is one of my first uh, last ones that I made. So I'm just going to hit the three dots and I'm going to say I want to move that one to the top. Now, even though I moved it to the top, it doesn't take away the thumbnail one. The one that is my thumbnail, it will stay there, even though I just moved that one up. Now, if you notice also, I have guest 
videos from other people. You can also add videos from other people. I'm allowed to add that video because that person marked their video that they would allow other people to share it. And you know that from setting up your channel. I'm not going to go into that. But when you set up your channel, it asks you, do you want to allow other people to share your videos? And if you select yes, then people can take your videos and put them in their playlist. Now, what's the advantage? When a person watches my video, let's say they watch how to get the first 150 email subscribers, it automatically takes them to the next one. So on the right hand side, the next video will show up and then they can keep going through and watching. Well, here they're going to go to Neil Patel, four steps to increase your email open rates. It applies to my playlist. It, it's all, you know, cons cons uh, consistent in my topic. After they watch that, I pop up again. And how does that help me? Well, Neil Patel, I think, has like 2 million viewers. I don't know. He has a lot. Um, so his viewers will see me, then go to his, and then pop back to me. Or maybe they started out with his video, and then they'll jump into my playlist. So I don't put a lot of other people's in there very often. I think in here, out of 27, I only have two other people in here, two other videos. So I want most of the videos to be mine, but those other videos will help me um, gain more subscribers and connect me with those other people on that topic. So that's how you make the playlist. Once you make it as well, let's say you made it when you were uploading your video, you wanna to go to the playlist link on the left, like I showed you, and then you wanna go in and put in a description over here to the left and, and maybe fix your title. Maybe you changed your mind, but you can edit from here as well. And like I said, you can move these around all you want. So that's how you make a playlist. Now, what do you do with them on your channel page? And that's what I really wanna show you today, how I use playlists on my channel page. Now, when I started out, I, just made the playlist and I didn't really understand why I was making them or how people could find them and how I could still you know make them more accessible like I wanted to take it to another level so what I want you to do is go under your icon and instead of oh let's go back over here to YouTube I want you to go under your channel this time, not under your video page or your playlist page. We're gonna to go to our channel page. So you gotta go back out and come back in. And instead of right here at the top, it says your channel. I want you to select that. And then after you select your channel, I want you to select customize channel. So this is where you do all the editing and customizing, okay? And you get to manipulate things. And I'm gonna show you how I set mine up, but I, you can set yours up any way you want. First of all, again, I didn't do this until maybe six months ago. At the top, it says um, you can put a video in for returning subscribers. And what I did is I picked one video that I thought people might be interested in when they come to my channel. I know SEO is a big deal and I use TubeBuddy and vidIQ and I had a video and I don't know why it's not showing up, but I had a video about comparing vidIQ to TubeBuddy. And I, I had maybe a couple hundred views at the time. And about five months ago, I put it here for people coming back um, for returning subscribers. And now it's up to over almost 2000 views. So if you want to feature one of your videos that you think people might be interested in, then put it there. Now, after this um, later, I'm going to probably put a different video there just to see if that one can get more views as well. But video or TubeBuddy, this, this video has been number two. It started out like number 10, but it's moved up to like my second most watched video. And I think it, a lot of it has to do with it being featured right here. And it's a topic that people are looking for. Um, then for your visitors, if people come to my channel, I made a really short video about who I am, what my channel's about. And I think it's barely, it's not even very long. Um, but that one, um, I was put up, it has uh, 200 views. But that, that's the video you want to tell people, what will they get from your channel? And you might want to redo that at least once a year. I said what, you know, my channel in 2020. When 2021 comes back, I might have more clarification of where, what direction I'm going and be better. And so I want to make a better video to, to let people know. Now, these are how I set my channels up and I'm going to show you how to do it. But let me show you my... Uh, the way I did it. In, in the top, you can set up little playlists, okay? I set up popular uploads right away. Now, some people, if you go to their channel, it'll say 
um, the most recent uploads. I went with my popular uploads because I don't have a million views and I don't post something and get 10,000 views within five minutes like some people do. I, I'm still small and I'm still growing. So for me to show people, hey, I do have videos that have a lot of views, it's just not every one. My most viewed video has 15,000 views as of this video. And so I put my most popular videos there. And notice vidIQ comes in like number six, I think, of all of my videos. So that's why I did that. Now, if you're you're new, so you probably would want to do the same thing. You want the videos that have been watched the most to show up so people can see, yeah, she's getting views. Now, notice I have different topics. These are like sections. I made a section for YouTube and within YouTube, I have five different playlists. Okay. Some of them I'm still working on like um, YouTube tools and equipments only has three. That's my newest one. Um, I'm starting to put some affiliate products in there and talking about different products for YouTube. That isn't my niche per se, as far as my expertise. So I have been um, sharing the things that I use as a beginner. That's why there's not a lot in there because there's really not a lot of equipment, but I know that that will grow as I start upgrading my equipment and upgrading things that I use. So that's why I put that there. But notice I put my playlist in there and not just the video. So to me, there's more eyeballs on more topics so people can go in and really categorize what they want to look for. The next one, making money online. I have four different playlists, how I separated it. Sales funnels, um, and then I have email marketing and then affiliate marketing at the bottom. Now I can change these if I want. I can edit this affiliate marketing and I can go in, I can change it from horizontal to vertical. The top videos, the, those videos at the top were vertical and the ones down here are, are horizontal. Um, but I can go in and I can change, I can add more if I would like. Um, I can add right here where it says add playlist. So if I have another playlist that I decide to make later about affiliate marketing, I can add that in there. So I'm gonna select done because now we're gonna go in and actually make one. So you've got a blank channel page or maybe you just have the, the banner made at the top. Just select add new section right here. You're gonna have yours at the top and then decide what kind of content do I want? And look at all the choices that you have. See, in the beginning, I thought, only my playlist would come up, that only my videos would show up. And when I select a playlist, um, what happens is if I say I only want a playlist to come up, then the playlist comes up with all the videos in the playlist. Does that make sense? But if you hit multiple playlists, what I that's how I do mine, then I can hit mul more than one playlist. So that's the difference. Uh, if you only have two playlists and you're just starting, then I would recommend put each one in a different section and let all those videos within those sections come up just so it gives your, your page more variety. And it takes time. Like I said, I went a long time and didn't do this um, and then just spent some time. I made it a project and I cleaned it up and did it. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing that you can do. Um, okay, let's go in and select. Let's just say we want to do uploads. I want to do my videos. So that means every video I have will come up and here's a horizontal view and I'm going to hit done. <coughs> and what they do is they come in order the newest first. So you can see, yeah, just a day ago, see my views, I, they, they come in slowly, but surely, um, but they're, they come in. I, you know, that's, that's the way they, they work. If you notice too, I'm starting to change my color from the black and the red to the blue and the red or the blue, white, and red. Um, so I need to change some of my thumbnails. But this this is what you would do if you're just starting out. You, you would just put your, you know, all your videos would just pop up and they would come up in order. Okay, and it comes up as a playlist. Now, what if I want to change that? Let's edit it and let's make it a vertical row. And I'll show you what that looks like. They'll just come up looking a little differently. And let's hit done. Up oh, there it goes. And there you go. See, they just come up at the top six, just show up like that, which is kind of cool. I like that, that feature. So basically that's how you make your playlist. So I hope that was helpful. I know for me, I had no idea why I needed to make them. I remember people telling me you need to make a playlist. That's really helpful. And I really didn't understand. So I hope that I made that clear for you. Even if you're brand new, if you have 10 videos, 
and you're brand new definitely pull them up on your channel page as a playlist they do not pop up automatically like you might believe you have to go in and say i want my i want to upload my videos and that's all i hit in in this section right here okay i said i want to do the uploads and that just means all my videos are going to pop up and they look like they're on a playlist and they pop up on my channel page that is a great way to start if you're really concise and you have maybe 50 videos or 30 videos and you're working on two or three categories then you can just categorize them and say okay here's where you know all the email marketing goes here's where all the youtube stuff goes and here's where all the you know sales funnel for me that's how that would work um but you'll build you'll keep building and keep coming up with more as you go like i said my next project is is to go in and change my thumbnail so that they are all within my branding color um like i i changed it and all the old stuff is still the different color so basically that is what i have for you today be sure and subscribe to my channel and you'll get more of this i usually have a lot of how-to videos and then i have videos that will help you to build your business online specifically in affiliate marketing check the link below i have an affiliate marketing ebook that i put together it's 43 pages it gives you four steps of how you can get started i know when i first started i kept saying i need a step-by-step -step guide i'm not sure where i should be spending my time and believe me there are certain places you need to spend your time before so you can build that foundation and then that money will start coming in um, if you're out looking at bunches of videos you're hearing lots of different things and you're jumping all over the place and nothing's getting done right is that you that was me and now i i come up with my projects and i focus get them done and i know where i have to spend my time and you'll you always have a lot to do all right went off on a tangent sorry about that but go ahead again subscribe comments below if there's something you would like me to share or a how-to video or any questions you have ask away and i would be happy to make a video to answer your question for you and you have a good one thank you so much for watching